Hey everyone, Team UDF here for more Outlast, and this is definitely not one of those horror games where the monster's on your side, so well, the wall rider kind of beat the crap out of us last episode. Let's get out of here. Oh god, I don't know where the objective is, though. Is it here? No. Oh. Wait. Ah! At least before this. Ah! Stop that! Oh, I said stop. That's not stopping. That's, that's making it more painful. Becoming the Zetsubo Billy? I think we're becoming the Zetsubo Billy. Get out. Objective Frog. <laughs> Where's the exit, though? Oh. We can't get frogged before we frog ourselves. It's quite a ways away. How are we getting all that way? Oh, I see. We can't run. Okay. Running is a bad idea. Uh, take a nice easy then. Nice and easy. What kind of crappy ending would be if we lost the camera or something. I'm assuming it means get out by like go back. I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that thing like totally entered us, didn't it? The wall writer will become the wall miles. What? What? What is this crap? Are you for freaking real? Okay, apparently that's the end of Outlast. What a weird blasted ending. And then it's not really even an ending. But I suppose we had our fun with the story and now they're just kind of kicking us out. But hey, the objective was true to its name. We got frogged. Okay then. I don't know. That was, that was really good. That, that ending is kind of, I don't know. I don't think I'm very satisfied with that ending, but the rest of the game was pretty darn great. The graphics, of course, were phenomenal. We had some great jump scare moments in the gameplay. I, I don't know, I think my only main gripe with it is that maybe it was a bit too cryptic in some places, but it, I don't know, it, it seemed to feed into the environment and everything, so it ended up working out quite nicely. We had a, an interesting cast of characters, like the, the, the twins who wanted to kill us constantly. And Father Martin, of course. I'm just... I don't really get where it was all leading, though. I mean, the story was certainly interesting and everything. Even the ending is like, okay, well, now what? It, I don't know. It kind of doesn't make sense, so I'm actually going to have to look this up to see if there are multiple endings or something, because I don't get what the point of the recording would have been anyway if we're just going to die in the first place. I don't know if there would be something we can, like, do about that, maybe. But, yeah... Now, speaking of musicians, the uh, music in this game is phenomenal as well. Very good music. And yeah, I don't know. The gameplay is pretty nice as well. 
the game is pretty linear, but there are those, like, open areas that you can just kind of explore and have to do things in a certain way. So it had a good mix. Not sure if I'm a big fan of the outside segment, though. I don't know. It seems like that could get you a bit stuck if you don't have any batteries lying around or anything. But other than that, they were pretty good with, like, inventory and stuff. They tried to make sure you had enough things. And so, I, I don't know, I guess you'd really have to be, like, burning through that battery in order to have no batteries in the outside segment anyway. Probably works out for the best in the end. And yeah, again, overall, I had a lot of fun with this. It certainly feels like amnesia at first, but it does have its own unique twist on the horror genre. It's actually more action-packed in some places. Kind of high, uh, high adrenaline action, especially when it comes to things like the soldier and again the twins who are trying to knock us off and stuff. The the chase sequence, I can't remember. Like the one out out of the sewers, I think it was. I'm trying to remember where it was, but we had that one chase sequence out of the sewers where just a bunch of inmates trying to get their hands on us. That was a pretty good one as well. So they did have some good stuff going on here. Again, like the only I don't know. That ending is going to kind of eat away at me for a while. Maybe I'll, like, read it up and see if there's more of an explanation, or if there are alternate endings we can get. But it really does leave me to wonder what the point of the recording was. I don't know, we were, like, leaving notes for someone. Was it just us leaving notes for the next hero or something? I don't know. It seems like... They, I don't know. You can't just do Outlast 2, though. But I don't know. So let me come back and see. Let me go look this up really quick. No, yeah, that's that's apparently it. There's there's one ending, and that's the ending. So, I don't know. Confusing ending. It certainly does open the door for a sequel, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, the game does a really good job at maintaining its atmosphere throughout. That's mostly what I enjoy about it. I don't know. I, I feel like some horror games kind of... They, like, lose their luster after a while. Outlast kind of seemed to keep going, if only because it had a variety of gameplay. Granted, I was pretty annoyed with some of the things that I, like, couldn't figure out on my first try or whatever. Like some of the chase sequences and the, the obscure vents for that one, uh, the doctor who, who was cutting off our fingers and stuff. But no, I don't know. I think it does a really great job. Again, maybe the only thing I would change is maybe, I don't know, tweak the story or something to make a bit more sense. But you know, the details themselves make sense. It's really just the ending that, again, will kind of be plastered in my mind. But maybe, hey, in that regard, if it's a memorable ending because it was so screwy and kind of like open-ended and things, maybe it did accomplish what it set out to do. Uh, so, yes, I had a great time with this game. It is probably getting at least a 9 out of 10. I mean, again, very few problems I saw with it. Very few, if any major ones at all. I don't know. The gameplay was relatively smooth. Everything worked fine. So, yes. That was Outlast. Uh, highly recommended, yes. Uh, man. I don't know. This kind of gives me more hope that the horror genre is not just kind of kind of uh, go down the tube. Now, this is really stepping it up a notch. I do look forward to seeing if there's a sequel. I mean, I don't know what you would do at this point. It's also debatable if Miles is even dead. So I, I guess there is more to be desired, but yeah, I suppose we'll see at some point. Anyway, I've been Team UDF, and probably will still be tomorrow. And this was Outlast. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you next time for more Team UDF gaming. If you have any other horror games you would like me to take a look at, uh, give them a shout-out in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. Boy! And we start our new life in the elevator.